Hello, my name is Paul Shapiro, author of the book Clean Meat, and I want to echo the sentiments of the previous speaker because we know that the governments of Japan and Israel are investing in this type of research and helping the startups in this space because they want to be providing the protein of the future. And I think it's incumbent on USDA, perhaps through Agricultural Research Service or maybe through other avenues to also see about fostering some of this innovation here in the United States so that we in the US can be a leader, not a follower when it comes to the cellular agriculture field. And to the point that Mr. Selden made earlier from Finless Foods, I do think uh, that it's important to emphasize that we do call this what it is, because as he noted, people of allergies to various meats will also be allergic to this. And it brings to mind um, a little bit of the ice shipping industry of old. And you think about how 150 years ago we had huge blocks of ice being uh, harvested out of lakes and shipped all over the world. And when you enter the advent of industrial refrigeration, you all of a sudden had a much more efficient way to produce ice just by cooling the water down right in front of you. And the ice barons were livid over this technological innovation, railing against what they called artificial ice, saying it might not be safe, that the ammonia in the coolant might leak out and harm you. And you fast forward to today, and virtually all of us have artificial ice makers in our homes. We call them freezers, and we don't think there's anything unnatural about them at all. And we call it ice. Even though it is not made by nature, it's made by a human invention, a very sophisticated technology that we call refrigeration, we don't think there's anything unnatural, and we call it just ice because that's exactly what it is. And I think similarly, with cellular agriculture, we have a chance now to produce what for millennia was only produced in nature, and now we can produce through a very efficient and safe way of growing meat from animal cells ourselves. I personally have eaten this kind of meat about half a dozen times now. I felt great after doing it. I still feel great today. And I think that uh, it should be uh, one of the points of discussion as this uh, very uh, admirable public meeting goes by, which I'm very grateful to both USDA and FDA for holding, that uh, the naming of this product is something that we ought to consider because we see that debate happening elsewhere, whether it's in plant-based milks and cheeses and other types of debates that FDA is considering right now as we speak. And so why not get that discussion started as well on cellular agriculture produced meats? Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Paul Shapiro again. I know I offered a comment this morning, but I'll offer one more, which is that if we think about the, some of the comments that we've heard about these cell cultured products being so novel, I think it is helpful to recall that there are lots of cell cultured products, including cell cultured animal products that are already on the market. If you think, for example, about hard cheese right now, uh, nearly all of the hard cheese that we have contains uh, rennet that comes from genetically engineered microorganisms that produce this chymosin, the enzyme that is functional in rennet. It used to be that we got all of our rennet from calf intestinal linings. Now biotechnology has allowed us to replace that in cheese with synthetic rennet. And nobody seems to be that concerned about it. I don't see the uh, alarm bells going off when we think about eating cheese that has that type of uh, cell cultured biotechnology in it. And I think similarly, when we use acellular agriculture to produce the very types of products like that, um, we know that that process has been used for a long time. It's also used for producing insulin for human medicine rather than using calf and pig pancreases. Now we synthetically produce via acellular agriculture human insulin. So I don't think it's as novel. I think there are some novel aspects to it, but I don't think it's as novel as we might uh, be led to believe by uh, by some of the uh, commentary that we're hearing. Thank you.